Hi guys and welcome to the Sunderland vs Rochdale match review. So last night at the Stage of Light we did come away with a comprehensive victory. A 3-0 win over Rochdale which is obviously a fantastic, fantastic result. It was a great performance. Um, but you know, it was actually a lot easier than I expected. You know, although Rochdale are in the sort of lower depths of the league, I have seen them quite a lot this season, and uh, they usually play a very decent brand of football despite where they are in the league. And they were quite disappointing in that sense, which is, um, you know, obviously I'm not complaining because we come away with a 3 0 win, but it was a lot, and I mean a lot easier than uh, I did expect. But getting into lineup, we went unchanged with uh, with McLaughlin in goal. We had the three at the back we had last time out with Flanagan Willis. And, uh, and Bailey Wright. We had Hume on one side, 09 on the other. We had Dobson and Power in the middle with Gooch, Maguire and Wyke up top. Now, originally, I was expecting and almost wanted a couple of changes um, to the lineup before the game because, you know, although I'm not a great believer in, you know, changing a winning side because I'm, I'm not a great believer in that at all, um, I do believe that we've, you know, been largely unchanged. We've had a largely unchanged side over what has been a very, very busy period. So I thought, you know, this is such an important game. It's a great opportunity to really push uh, the, the teams above us. And I thought that I, I don't, I didn't think we really needed to risk a couple of plays that could have been potentially a bit leggy. But either way, of course, I was wrong because we come away with a three 0 win. But uh, you know, getting into it, and we were on top from the off, making chance after chance after chance, and we quickly broke the deadlock. Uh, through Lyndon Gooch, it was a ball, a beautiful ball in by uh, Chris Maguire on the right hand side. Gooch gets to it, he kind of hits his shot into the ground and it just kind of bounces into the top corner to make it 1 0. And then the second quickly followed um, to make it 2 0, and it was an own goal. Again, it was a great break uh, by Lyndon Gooch. He's bombing down the centre after nicking it off him in the middle. Um, he pulls it out wide for Chris Maguire. Maguire tries to drag it across goal back towards uh, Charlie White but it's took a wicked deflection off the defender and it loops the keeper and heads into that top left-hand corner. And to finish the goals off, we did get our third. So it was some nice work down the right-hand side. It did fall for Luke O'Neill. He had a couple of little chances blocked. He did eventually fall for Lyndon Gooch, who just drills it under the keeper to make it 3-0. So we're going to half-time, 3-0. I'm thinking this is fantastic, this is amazing. But there's been a few times over the last season or two where... You know, once we've gone 3-0 up, there has been a couple of times where we have gone 3-0 up at half-time, and then the second half, we just we just sit back, which isn't, you know, necessarily a bad thing. I understand that. Um, you know, you know, keep your legs, save your legs for, for another game. But at the same time, I believe that, you know, it's going to be so tight up there, and goals, goal difference is going to be a massive thing. And I think we could have easily come away with five or six goals yesterday because we dominated that much. But we did come out in the second half, and uh, again, we didn't make any subs at this point, which... I think we should have done. I really think we should have done. We should have saved those legs. I think even at half time we could have brought on a couple of subs, maybe Scowen, um, maybe bring on Lafferty then, uh, something like that. But but you know it ended up being a very forgetful or forgettable uh, second half. Um, we, we're still in complete control. Rochdale, I think they had one chance throughout the whole game, and that was a shot that went straight to McLaughlin. Um, but we were still in control. Uh, but we just we dropped. The tempo quite considerably, which again I completely understand. Uh, I just think we should have got another couple of the new boys on on the pitch at this point. But we did make a couple of subs um, towards the latter stages of the game. Lafferty did come on. Um, we also had what we also had uh, what more come on Semenya as well. Um, and we were literally just seeing the game out. Um, I would have preferred us to go for it a little bit more towards the later stages of the game. But you know I can't complain. We've come away with a three 0 win. Um, so you know, it, it's a it's a great result. It's a great victory that takes us up to fifth. We're only a handful of points off the top now. Um, we, we've got a game in hand over, I think, one of the teams as well. But we, we, you know, anyway, regardless, it's a fantastic result, and all we can concentrate is on is is on our results and our performances, and that's what we're doing at the minute. And I need to say, you know, massive fair play to the lads and massive fair play to Parky because I honestly thought that we could have and maybe would have collapsed and sort of crumbled after that uh, defeat against Pompey uh, the other week um, because you know particularly because that defeat against Pompey ended a really decent run and it would have been you know a really decent unbeaten run and it would have been very very easy for the lads to just drop their heads think oh no we've screwed up now we've uh, we've messed it up and we could have moped around for a bit and come away with a couple of bad results particularly with the you know the caliber of games that we had to face or we are coming up against anyway straight after that Pompey game but you know we come up against Ipswich we play great against them we beat them we've just 
performed brilliantly against Rochdale and absolutely torn them apart. So, you know, a massive, massive fair play to him. And there's a, and I, I can't really fault any of the players. Um, and I think one player that did stand out for me was Bailey Wright. He, he looks like he's becoming a real leader within the squad. Uh, he, he's dominating the play uh, at the back and he's really controlling that back three. So, you know, even though Arsene Turk has been dropped, I think that was still a very, very unfair decision. I, I think it, you know, in hindsight, right now it looks like a decent one because he looks like he's settled now, he's in control of that back three and he, he does look like a real leader. And one other player I want to give a bit of a shout out to as well because I believe he's come under a bit of almost unfair scrutiny and I think that's George Dobson because, and I feel like he's become a little bit of a scapegoat purely because people want to see the new lads come in, i.e. Scowen and players like that, which I can understand fans want to see the new lad. But um, Dobson, you know, he has the odd game where you don't really see or notice what he does off the ball, or he might have a game where his passes aren't 100%. But recently, I don't think he has put that much of a foot wrong. And particularly last night, it, it, he was just hounding them. He was not giving them a moment's rest. And you could see why he holds so much value within the squad. And his passing range was great as well. He was really good on the ball. So very, again, it's another player who I need to say fair play to, because he was excellent. He really was excellent last night. So again, it's another fantastic three points. Really proud of the lads. Um, and now we have Oxford this weekend who are slowly tailing off, actually. They're not playing particularly well in recent weeks, but we can't rest on our laurels. Um, and I'm excited for it. We, we, seem to be, we seem to have got straight back up on the horse after that uh, defeat against Pompey. So hopefully that can, you know, long may it continue. Uh, it's a great three points. I'm absolutely buzzing. My man of the match is obviously London Gooch for his couple of goals and uh, he looked excellent particularly in that first half as well he, he's another player that wasn't giving him a moment's rest and uh, yeah so it's a great three points we look forward to this weekend and hopefully we can get another three points on top of that but if you have enjoyed this video please hit the like button for me it'd be massively massively appreciated and subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sarni Army but for now you take care and stay jammed.